Hey guys, Otto here. So we're gonna set up the front end first, which is the Flutter app. And here's the sign up screen we're gonna build. Now, this is part one, and in part two, we're going to be building the Node.js, Express.js, MongoDB, backend API in order to save the data. So let's get started. I have my VS Studio code open here, and I'm gonna open up a terminal, new terminal. And then I'm going to go to my Flutter projects. So programming Flutter. And then I'm going to create a new Flutter project. So Flutter create. And this project name, let's call it Flutter Node.js auth for authentication. OK, hit enter. Let's let that load. I'm loading. Now we will go to that application, that directory, I mean, and so the name is Flutter Node.js. Okay, and then just for convenience sake, what we'll do is type code and dot, and what this is going to do is open up a new VS Code with the project ready on the side. Awesome, right? Okay, so now we're in our project. Let's go ahead and start it up. So in the corner here, you see no devices. We need to start an emulator. You can use Android or iOS. I'm going to use Android uh, iOS because I'm on a MacBook and iOS runs a little bit smoother on here. So now that I have that open, I want to load the code. To do that, I go to lib directory and then main.dart, open that up, and then go here to this play button, then click run and debug. And what that is going to do is going to load the app onto this simulator. It's almost finished loading, and there it is. So basically, this is the starter app that Flutter gives you once you create a, if you create a project with the Flutter create. So we don't need any of this. So we're going to go ahead and delete all the code that created this front end. So we go over here to the main app and we're starting from title all the way down to here, we can delete that. Okay, save. And the create home page, we don't need any of that. We're just going to get rid of it. Delete. So we're left with just this. And we're getting an error because we don't have home page anymore. That's okay. We're going to create that right now. We're going to create a new one, uh, a new name. So before we do that, let's go ahead and go to browser, a browser of your choice. I'm going to use Brave. And in the search engine, I'm going to type in Flutter Gallery. And the second link here is galleryflutter.dev. I'm using um, DuckDuckGo for my search engine. Go ahead and click that. And this is built by the Flutter team. And these are prepackaged code examples for us to build off of. And it's just for front end. And this shows you how to build something. It gives you lots of examples. What we're looking for is a text field, text fields. So here we go, right here. This is iOS style. And email, password, we don't need the pen. So this is almost what we need, just about, especially for the register, new user. So let's go ahead and take that. Go to demo code here. You see these like code symbol. Go ahead and click that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and copy all this code with the button here, copy all open up VS code and we're just going to go ahead and paste it all in there. Okay, we just pasted it. I'm going to minimize this a bit. So now we have this code. We have some errors. One one thing is we need to copy this and these imports and put them on top. And one import we don't need is this gallery import because you see that um, it's a package, it's a file we don't have. 
and you'll see it here it's asking for here we don't have it we're going to delete that and this here delete okay that's all we need to delete here the placeholder we need to replace with a text so it's an email text and it's just a placeholder so email that works and then for this password we just type in password a string okay and that will be displayed oh and there's one more placeholder this is the pen and this is what we don't need actually we're going to replace this with a button but for now let's go ahead and get rid of it delete cool now that's deleted let's go ahead and type uh, copy this and paste it here and let's get rid of this title since we don't have a title anymore a title variable save now open up the app you can see the email and password all right let's get these buttons to do something right now nothing's happening so let's add a button a sign up button so if we go down here on padding and right at this uh, square bracket click enter make some space and we're gonna type in flat button dot icon and with on pressed some curly braces and for the icon and type in icon and then inside icon icons dot save save as an icon and the label is going to be a text widget and then in text widget we'll type sign up okay and save and here's our button so on press we're going to add some uh, a function inside that but before we do that we need to make some variables so on top of this class cappuccino text field demo we need to change that name but for now uh, we can we can get rid of this we don't need that at all that does nothing for this right right okay so our first string so if you're your javascript guys basically we can use the keyword var and type in for example email and var password and now we have our variables now we need to use a property inside the cappuccino text field it's going to be called on changed value now for this I'm going to use a block body and then what we're going to do here is this is the email field we're going to type in email equals value on change and then down here in this cappuccino field we are going to type on this we're going to copy this make our lives easier and switch email to password okay now on pressed what we're going to do is print email and copy that and print password to know that our buttons and text fields are working so let's type in email password sign up and if you look in the debug console you'll see that we have our email and, pa and password that we entered in the text field that means it's working so we got the basic working it prints now we got to implement a function that will post this information 
to Node.js, our server that we haven't created yet. But we can write the function out now. So down here, function called sign up. And it's going to take the parameters email, password. And inside this, we're going to get some code. So let's open up a browser, new tab, type in Flutter Cookbook. Open that up. And you can find all the example code that you need in the Flutter Cookbook. We're looking for network. And basically, you're going to show us how to post data to the internet. So networking, delete data, fetch data, make authentic authenticated requests send data to the internet one okay basically if we go to the first step it's saying that we need to install the http package okay i'm going to right click that and get the right package we need i'm going to copy this open up my vs code and go to pubspec.yaml and here i'm going to go ahead and paste that under cappuccino icons and I'm going to add these dot dot. Let's fix that. There you go. Save. It's going to go ahead and get that package and download it. Go ahead and close that up. Next, let's go back. Close that. Go here. And we need to, well, we can import it, but I'm just going to go ahead and get what we need. And basically what we need here is this right here. No, scroll down. What we need is the basic template to get us up and running. So here, right here works. So this code here will get us up and running. Go ahead and copy that. Open up our VS code. Paste that in there. We're getting some errors because we need to import a few things. So first, the HTTP package is go back here and we need to import this, the HTTP package into our main dot file. So go ahead and paste that in. Now that we have that, some errors went away. Now we see we have an await error because this function needs to be asynchronous. Now that we have that, that error is gone. And now we have a title. This title has an error because we don't have this variable and also we don't need it. Instead, put email here and email and copy this. And here we're gonna use name or sorry, password and type, copy that password. And we have another error here because we need to import another um, library called Dart Convert. And once we have that, we don't have any errors here. But down here, we have this return, this album. We don't have that class, so we don't even need it. So we're going to go ahead and delete that for now. And this is what we have so far. So with that, we can so with that go ahead and restart the application because we added the new library and imported new files so once you have that restarted let's make sure it's still working great it is now we can utilize this function let's utilize our sign up function so here in the button on pressed type in sign up and it loads us with our email and password. It's taken the variable email and password. And when we click this button, it'll automatically run this function. Now, here, this URL, this JSON placeholder, we're not using that URL. So let's make this, let's clean this up and change the URL. First, let's type a URL for our variable equals HTTP. And we're going to use 
dot one yeah and port 5000 close it up okay now this should work for iOS right now we don't have this set up so let's go ahead and uh, put and put that variable URL okay now we're using it now now it's time to set up our node API so let's create our express project now all right guys so next up part two let's set up node.js express.js and mongodb and get the registration api working see you guys there